Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. In this video, we're going to talk about the hardware on the HTC Titan, which has a 4.7 inch screen. Is that too big to fit in your pocket? We're going to find out right now. So do you actually want to see how it fits inside of a pocket? Well, let's take a look. Kind of an interesting little test here. So here it is. Uh, not that big of a device, actually. It's, it's obviously pretty big in there, um, but it's definitely not too big uh, to cause your pants to fall down if you're not wearing a belt. So pretty pocketable. It's still quite big compared to some other devices. So the HTC Titan is the fastest Windows Phone 7.5 Mango device you can buy right now. If you look at clock speed alone, it has a 1.5 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon CPU. If you want a full rundown of specs, check the link in the description. In this video, we're going to talk more about fit and finish, how it feels in the hand, how large it actually is, and other things like that. So let's get to it. 4.7-inch uh, screen, as, as we mentioned here. 800 down by 480 across. So what HTC has done is they're stretching the same resolution found on smaller screen devices to this larger display, which means the pixels are actually visible on this phone if you have good eyesight. Uh, it, it has a PPI pixel density of 198 pixels per inch. Uh, when you get below 220, 230, you start to see pixels. So let me show you uh, some pixels if the camera will pick it up. Okay, so here we are on the start screen. We're going to zoom in on some of these tiles. And if the camera stays in focus, you should be able to see some pixels, especially in this Twitter icon. If you have very good eyesight, you'll notice the pixels. It's not that big of a deal. It's still a very crisp and clear super LCD display. HTC always makes a good display. Uh, but just be aware that it's not sharp and not, not as sharp and not as crisp as some of the QHD screens out there. And we're about to see a wave of 720p screens on Android handsets. So just something to be aware. Uh, so the screen is dominated, the front is dominated by the screen, I should say. Very thin bezel along the side, which is quite nice. You might be wondering how it compares to devices that have a 4.3 inch screen, for example. So let's bring out the Galaxy S2, and if we rest it and kind of match things up, you'll notice that it's about, the Titan's about two millimeters wide, wide, wider and two millimeters taller. So not that big of a difference. Again, HTC did a good job at keeping the bezel razor sharp. If we look at the Desire HD, very popular device of last year, uh, we've got about one millimeter, maybe two on the side, maybe three or four millimeters here on the bottom. So it's not that big of a difference in terms of size when compared to devices with 4.3 inch displays. We've got a front facing camera up here. First round of devices now is coming out with front facing cameras for Windows Phone 7 Mango. We've got the capacitive buttons down here. Really interesting design cue here. Uh, HTC has protruded the screen, let's see if we can capture this on video, about a millimeter beyond the case. It's really kind of cool, actually, and it feels nice in the hand. So if you can notice this, the screen pops out a little bit across the entire device, then it kind of sinks back down where the screen ends. So sort of a, a cool design element there. And while we're on the side, got the charging jack there, micro USB, of course. We flip over to the back, nothing but microphone and the little button to pop off the battery cover. We've got a camera shutter button. All Windows Phone 7 devices have it, which is a great idea. It's always nice to have. It feels kind of awkward on the Titan for some reason, and uh, we're going to have to use this device for, for some more time to really understand why that is. It just seems difficult to capture a picture. It might be the software. It might be the larger form factor of the device. Volume rocker here, 3.5 millimeter up the the top and a power standby button. Now the back is really sharp. It's it's actually real metal. And you know it's real metal because when you pick it up uh, after you haven't used the phone for a while, the back feels cool to the touch, which is really nice. We saw the same kind of design cue on the HTC Desire HD, or this is actually the Inspire 4G. Really nice to have some real materials. And the device does feel kind of heavy, uh, but Again, it's using real materials, real metal, real glass, so you have to expect that kind of thing. Speaker grill on the back. The Titan has an especially loud speaker, which is great. 8 megapixel camera can do 720p video, not 1080p, unfortunately, and dual flash on the Titan. Now, to take off the back battery cover, the phone kind of separates into two pieces, which is something HTC has been doing recently with their phones. So this comes off. You get the battery and the SIM card slot. And uh, no micro SD slot back here. This Windows Phone 7 device does not have expandable memory, but it does have 16 gigabytes of onboard storage, which is really plenty for most people. So we'll pop this back in. 
and wrap things up. So the HTC Titan, of course, coming from HTC, it's a high quality device. It feels good in the hand. It looks like a lot of their other devices, to be honest. You get a screen and some buttons. You probably are wondering, well, how, how many different ways can you design a phone? Who knows? The HTC Titan looks like the Desire HD. It looks like a lot of previous devices to come from HTC, which isn't a bad thing. It's a high quality device. The screen is beautiful. It's large. It's a little bit low in terms of pixel density, but that shouldn't bother most people. So coming up soon, we are going to have a full software tour of Windows Phone 7 Mango as it runs on the HTC Titan. You're probably curious to see how this thing performs with a faster processor. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And of course, thank you for watching. That's it for now.